year's going for you so far? Yeah, it's been a blast. You know, we we've been winning, and you know that's always fun. It's a good feeling at the end of the weekend. We just want to keep that rolling, keep notching W's on the schedule, and you know just take it one week at a time. What's the challenge of uh, not getting too far or looking too far ahead when you get out to a six and zero start? Yeah, I mean that's the big thing. Is just taking the you know every day by day and you know week by week. Um, you know, you just gotta prepare for you know the next one. You know, really, you can't look ahead and you can't look back. You just gotta keep rolling. A lot of teams might be when they're approaching the five, you're like, all right, let's let's get there. We're almost there, but it doesn't seem like that's going on with you guys. Like you guys are could keep going. Yeah, no, I mean, we don't want to take that approach at all because the moment you know you start to relax and you know feel like you're almost to a break, um, you know that's when you can get caught, um, you know, in a bad situation. So we want to keep pushing, and when we get the break, we'll get there. But um, you know, the thing we're worried about right now is Saturday, and you know, working hard through the rest of the week, and you know, getting prepared for Missouri. So we don't really get to talk to Andrew Thomas. Um, what's he kind of like to play with? Um, you know, he's a quiet guy, and he just goes to work. So, um, dude's, you know, he's gonna—he's an unbelievable player right now. He's gonna get even better as time rolls on. And uh, you know, I'm—you know—I'm excited to have him on the team. Excited to see him grow. And uh, he's a good one to work with. You know, when you're when you're double teaming somebody, or um, you know, when you're running when you're on a route, you know, he's gonna give you good protection. Yeah, coach said that he was a mature player for his age. Is that something that you see in him? Yeah, absolutely. When I say quiet, you know, he's he's all about his business and you know, he doesn't have a lot to say. You know, he just goes to work. So, you know, that side of it's definitely, you know, a mature part about him. You know, Davin yesterday was saying that um, you know, he could pinpoint a moment when he realized this kid was something special. Um, Andrew, that is. I mean, did you have a moment like that in practice and camp when when you realized, okay, this guy's the real deal? Yeah, I mean, obviously I work with him every day, so I, I noticed all along. But when I really noticed it was when I was watching film against Vanderbilt, and you know he took a guy about 20 yards downfield um, the whole way, and I was like, you know, wow, you know he's he's pretty special. So, um, you know he's a good player for sure. It's still fresh on your mind to have playing as a freshman, trenches as a freshman. What does that say about him that that he's doing so well at that position as a freshman? Well, it shows that he, you know, came into college, you know, working hard in the offseason, getting his body right. Um, you know, he's a big physical presence, you know, which is obviously going to help him out. He's long, he's quick, um, you know, but obviously the experience is a big part of it. And, you know, that's something he didn't have. So he's done a good job of coming in, you know, learning from the older guys, you know, getting quality reps in practice and, you know, just putting it on the game field. Isaac, so what kind of reset have you had to do um, being a tight end in this offense this year when your team has run the ball so well? You know, obviously last year, there's some more struggles in the run game, but you guys, it's kind of your bread and butter. Uh, do you have to kind of, you know, realize you have maybe a different role in some games? Yeah, I mean, we really haven't had to pass it all a lot because we've been, you know, we got a line that's playing physical and, you know, we got, you know, Sony, Nick, DeAndre, Elijah, and those guys are running the ball like crazy. Um, you know, so that, you know, switches it up for us a little bit. Um, you know, but this is also the SEC and we know that we're going to have to throw it at some point. And, um, you know, so we're grinding in practice and, um, you know, we're making sure we get those reps so we're prepared, you know, to throw it when we need to. Do you have a, a different uh, kind of expectation of how many targets you might get uh, uh, now versus uh, in the past? I don't. Um, you know, I know we got we got our plays lined up, you know, that we're ready to run. So we're just, you know, working to perfect them and, you know, just keep practicing it. Because when we run the ball like we did, don't have to throw it. You know, that stuff can get put to the wayside. But, um, you know, just keep doing it and practice and, you know, always be ready. Did you notice more attention by the defenses on you in passing situations this year? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of man coverage this year, I feel like, and, you know, a lot of a lot of uh, double coverage, bracket coverage, but, you know, nothing really different than what I've seen before. Um, you know, I feel like I've been good getting open and, you know, but really the biggest thing is, you know, we got, got, we're taking shots and guys are making plays and it seems like, you know, sometimes we score, you know, three plays into a drive and then, you know, we run it down the field the next drive. So, um, you know, it's just all about opportunities and when they come your way, you got to make them.